Delivering local news to the San Juan Basin from our studios at San Juan College, TriCityNews.tv. Hi, everyone. Coming up today, we will introduce you to some real heroes. Waste management shares its customers' kudos and concerns, celebrating the success of a local Tri-City business. And we'll take you out to the Ladies' Charity Golf Classic. I'm Scott Micklin. It's nice to see you on this Thursday. TriCityNews.tv is next. If you can hold your nachos with one hand. You can be a hero with the other. Taco Bell's new beefy nacho burrito. It's the two-handed nachos you love in a one-handed burrito for only 99 cents. Twelve area residents were recognized Thursday for acts of heroism. The American Red Cross honored these people with its second annual Northwest New Mexico Real Heroes Breakfast and Awards. The recipients ranged from teenager Austin Charging, who built homes in Kenya and Haiti, to decorated Iraqi war veteran Major Brian Sillison. New Mexico Economic Development Secretary John Barella spoke at the event. What an amazing and inspirational group of people here in San Juan County. It's just incredible the stories the things that have been done, the contributions to uh, mankind and to the community. It's a fabulous, fabulous honor for me to be here uh, this morning. Barella pointed out that the Red Cross is constantly faced with helping people in tragic situations. The nonprofit's regional CEO, Cindy Adams, says they're preparing today to help those affected by wildfires across New Mexico. I'm so proud of all of our volunteers in the American Red Cross. And this event today is the basis for the American Red Cross in New Mexico because without events like this that provide significant funding for the American Red Cross, we couldn't provide the cots, the blankets, the pillows, have the disaster trailers to pull those materials, have the pickup trucks in order to pull those trailers, uh, and to be able to provide the financial assistance to people who need it. Also recognized as heroes, Madison Steiner, firefighters Ben Thorsheim and David Lopez, Farmington detective Greg Allen and his wife Georgette, paramedic Steve Malerchik, Betty Barry, Carlton Downing, and Melissa and George Sharp. Congratulations to all. You can read the full story about all their heroic actions in Friday's Tri-City Tribune newspaper. During Tuesday's regular Farmington City Council meeting, Waste Management gave a report on customer satisfaction. They addressed any questions, suggestions, and complaints city council members and the public had. Councilor Mary Fisher hopes to continue effectively working with waste management. Whenever I or any of my colleagues uh, expressed a concern, they were immediately addressed. And uh, so I'm hoping that uh, next month at this time that I am happy and uh, not uh, running outside in a huff to see what awful things have happened to my trash. Also at the meeting, former government and public affairs manager for waste management Marlene Feuer introduced her successor, Frank Santiago, who before coming to Farmington was the operations director in Santa Fe. Inland Kenworth is one of North America's largest and fastest growing Kenworth dealers with more than 20 locations, including one at 3924 Bloomfield Highway near the intersection of Browning Parkway. A large crowd was on hand as the Farmington business celebrated its 10th anniversary on Wednesday. The festivities included more than 25 area vendors, a barbecue lunch, and information from the company's leaders. We're the, we're the Kenworth Heavy Truck Class 8 truck team. Okay? Today we have 25 of our valued vendors and we've invited, from the looks of things, over 300 of our valued customers. Inland Kenworth sells a full Kenworth product line, parts for all makes and models, and a full line of new and used trucks. 84 women took to the greens this past week as part of the annual Ladies Charity Golf Classic at Pinion Hills Golf Course and the San Juan Country Club. They played for prizes and recognition while giving back to a good cause. This year, the Pet Project will benefit from the money raised by the event. The Pet Project is raising funds for a new regional animal shelter in Farmington. And it will be um, a very aesthetically pleasing facility, but it will also be very functional and something that we can be proud of. You'll also be able to find it. It's going to be located off of Browning Parkway. 
near the entrance to the uh, Animus Nature Center. And what better place to have both of them there? And there's also room for expansion. Pet Project member Betty Berry says the money raised will help buy cages, grooming equipment, and other necessities for homeless and abandoned pets. If you're looking for a great way to kick off your weekend, how about enjoying some live jazz music and local artwork at the Farmington Museum at Gateway Park. The Farmington Chamber of Commerce hosts the Music on the Rocks event Friday evening from 7 to 10. It's going to be a wonderful evening with, uh, close enough, a jazz ensemble from San Juan College. We'll have appetizers from Zebras, the San Juan Country Club, and come to the feast. And we'll have adult beverages by Distill and Wines of the San Juan. In addition, we're going to have some amazing art that local artists have donated for a silent auction. Local art galleries donated work for a silent auction during the event. Tickets are $40 per person, $75 for couples. Cocktail dress is suggested. All proceeds will benefit the Farmington Chamber of Commerce. Another sunny day in the Tri-Cities. Expect more of the same as we head into the weekend. Taking a look at the weather forecast, clear skies tonight with a low of 52 degrees. Sunny with light winds tomorrow and a high of 93. Clear Friday night with a low of 53. Sunny again on Saturday with more light winds, a high of 94 and a low of 54. Now, here's Devin Neely with sports. Thank you, Scott, and hello, sports fans. Tough night on Wednesday for Natani 2. They dropped both in the doubleheader, one to River Cats and one to Stick. Sticks winning that one by four. River Cats winning theirs by three. As for the weekend schedule, Monday and Friday, while the team gets Father's Day off, well, rather the Father's Day weekend, I guess, Aztec and Sting, and the Mob there against the River Cats to finish the week. Mob in action on Monday with Aztec and River Cats with Durango, and Vertical Radio carrying the 8 p.m. game live on the radio, 88.9 FM. Well, that's it for me. I hope you guys have a great Thursday. I'm Devin Neely. Back to you, Scott. Thank you, Devin. On behalf of all of us at Majestic Media and San Juan College, thank you for watching TriCityNews.tv. It's local TV news without the TV, all in one place, whenever you want it, 24-7. Thanks for watching. See you back here on Friday. Marketing used to be easy. You're You'd spend a boatload of cash on advertising, cold calls, trade shows, and direct mail, and watch the leads pour in. Now, folks are bombarded with a gajillion and one marketing messages every day. The World Wide Interweb is transforming how they shop and buy. And there's all sorts of ways to block out the messages you're trying to get through. So, yeah, the whole outbound marketing thing isn't doing the job all by itself anymore. Today, you also need to concentrate on getting customers' attention through inbound marketing which means blogging, tweeting, social media-izing, SEO optimizing, and a bunch of other newfangled strategies. There's all these new methods and tactics, and they're all disconnected from each other. So you've got this site for one thing, that site for another. You need this platform for that thing and that program for that other thing. And now there's 50 different things to do in 50 different places. And it seems like figuring all this stuff out takes a rocket surgeon or a, a brain scientist. Plus an extra 80 hours in the week to do it all. So, what do you do? You know, since you're not a rocket surgeon. Majestic Media understands how daunting this brave new world can be, so they did something about it. What they created will make your marketing way more powerful. And, well, easier. Majestic Media has pulled together the best outbound and inbound marketing experts in the four corners and consolidated them into one spot giving you a centralized, easy-to-use, unbelievably powerful marketing resource. So you can advertise on billboards, magazines, newspapers, webcasts, TV, and radio. You can blog, Facebook, tweet, optimize, capture leads, and be a feature on your customers' mobile phones. Basically everything, all through one place. Majestic Media and their team of experts have all sorts of resources, tools, and tricks to make you a marketing genius. Like instantly. You'll be able to get your message to every local market and beyond. No more calling one place to design your stuff and then another place to print your stuff and those five places to run your ads and that other place to work on your website and trying to figure out what the heck Facebook and Twitter is all about. With Majestic Media, all your marketing is in one place with tons of people and several companies 
all working on your stuff. Yeah, Majestic Media is that marketing secret weapon you've been waiting for. So, make your marketing easier and more effective with Majestic Media's all-in-one marketing system. Schedule your free consultation today.